Kyle. Probably yeah. most people haven't seen PKN. I story. I, I'm, they must be curious. They've been watching you for two yeah. hours now, or two and a half. Yeah, it's a it's a little like black, I guess. On this a little swollen still. Yeah, looking at uh, a couple days ago already. Yeah, it was um, Tuesday, and today's Thursday. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I had to get this. I had a mole like right on the edge of my eyelid. It was really small. I, I told them it looked like there was a booger on my eyelid, and it was just unsightly. I didn't like how it looked. And I've been wanting to get it off for a while, but I procrastinate things like that. There's a lot of steps you got to, you know, you got to get, a, I had to go to, I had to get one doctor, which is kind of a problem. And then he has to refer me to a specialist. But anyway, I went and uh, it was a very painful ordeal. Uh, they gave me a uh, Valium, which I don't even know what the fucking point of that was to relax me, I guess. Like I wasn't nervous. Wait, did you like not... it? I mean, I loved it, but it didn't kick in until right about the time I got back home. Like, like I was high all afternoon. Oh, no. Yeah. I've had a bunch of surgeries and they give you that. What do they give you? Fentanyl? Is that what they give you? Or what? Uh, no, I don't think so. But but this is a pill. You know, this is just a, a benzodiazepine. I get this is in a, the IV and I really yeah. am a fan. No, I, um, I want to do this as cheaply as possible. And they asked mm-hmm. if I wanted an anesthesiologist on board. And I'm like, well, what's he going to do? Is he going to give me gas or, or, or like intravenous uh, medications? Like, no, no, no. He'll just watch us do what we were already going to do. And I was like, well, fuck that. Let's save $2,000 here. Because like the whole thing like was a grand. I think it was like 400 for the doc and 600 for like what, the ancillaries. But anyway, it was more painful than I ever thought it was going to be. Because they just, they put some numbing drops in my eyeball. But that was just so that they could put a Q-tip under my eyelid and roll my eyelid back. And it wouldn't be so uncomfortable. Uh, and then they put two shots of lidocaine directly into my fucking eyelid. And that hurt me. too, right? Burned, right? That's what hurt. That hurt a lot. Your anesthesiologists suck, man. Mine comes I in I didn't there. have an anesthesiologist. He's like, hey, Woody, I'm Dr. Steve. I'll be your bartender for the day. And I'm like, Steve, <laughs> you seem cool. <laughs> you and I are going to get along. I didn't have an anesthesiologist. I just had the doctor, and he shot two shots oh, of lidocaine into my eye. I eyelid. misunderstood the story. There was a guy there who was going to do what they... No, no. They offered an anesthesiologist, and oh. I said, well, what's he going to do? Is I he going to do? Is he gonna give That's me some I drugs? They're okay. like, no, no, no. He's going to watch us and monitor your blood pressure. And I'm like, fuck that. That's like two grand wasted money. Like, no, <sighs> I don't want an anesthesiologist. So the doctor shot two shots of lidocaine just into my fucking eyelid. And it hurt so much. I, like, like I didn't scream or anything, but my, my toes curled in my in my shoes, and like my hands were crossed on my chest or whatever, and they were just kind of like gripping each other. And after each shot, I just went, "Hmm, that really hurt," you know. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, "Oh, I bet it did." <laughs> and uh, but but he he had the thing cut off there in sixty seconds, and then I had this huge eye patch on with like masking tape and gauze that I wore about for about half the day. And then I wore uh, sunglasses on the show the other day because my eye was just so fucked up. But uh, but yeah, I'm gl- it's it's already healing. I'm on antibiotics and some antibiotic ointment. So by next week, I don't. It'll all be healed up, and I'm yeah. I'm glad I did it because it was annoying. I didn't like uh, looking at it. I've had maybe a dozen surgeries, and at this point, I'm good at it. You know, and Woody, how you doing? <laughs> I'm scared. I have to do this, but I wish <laughs> I wasn't here. Uh, uh, I, I'm a thrower upper. They call me the upchucker back in high school. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, I don't know. Everything kind of hurts a little. May- maybe you can help me with something. <laughs> 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 They're like, oh, yeah, we got a cocktail for you. We can solve all that shit. It's gorgeous. I would have loved some hard drugs. I would have loved some fucking uh, some morphine or some Tylenol 3 or some codeine or anything to really fuck me up. But anything but such one a- Valium, yeah. The volume was so worthless. It was so worthless because I got there maybe five, ten minutes late. And I, I think maybe if I'd had, I don't know, it really didn't kick in until like I was getting home. Mm-hmm. Like, like I said, I, I, that, that picture I sent you where my, like, if you look at my, my good eye, it's all droopy. And I sent it to my dad too. And he's just like, you look kind of fucked up. <laughs> and I was like, I, I kind of am. That volume was good. That was a big one. I forgot you were having that thing taken off your eye. Because all you texted us that morning was just a picture, like from your vantage point, laying in a hospital bed in the room, and I was like, "Oh no, oh my god, I hope Kyle's okay." And then he's like, "Yeah, yeah getting this thing off my." I was like, "Oh yeah, fuck, he's not dying." Yeah, I like to do that to people. 
Yeah. <laughs> just send a, a troubling photo with yeah. no commentary. Send the photo and then just give it half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad it worked out. I just think last time, not last year, two surgeries ago, I did that whole thing. You know, they, they made me feel happy. I'm telling the nurse, it's like, man, you guys got an iPhone charger around here? I'd love it if I came out of surgery with a fully charged phone. <laughs> yeah. they, they, they're happy to help. Like, the, all, just be grateful. Be th- you know, they, 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 these people are in, not everyone's nice at the hospital. And if mm-hmm. you are, they're happy to charge your phone. Someone's got an iPhone charger in, in the hospital. And I, I was away from home. So it was a big deal. It was like, man. This thing's my lifeline to my wife. I've been talking to her. She's nervous. If I came out of this surgery and the phone was all charged up, that'd mean a lot to me. <clears throat> they got me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really happy I finally got that done. It was, like I said, it was really annoying me. Um, uh, I hated it. I hated that thing. Every time I looked in the mirror, I was like, ah, oh, there's a booger on your eyelid. You got to get yeah. that off. And it's right in your eye. You can't <clears throat> see anything but it. Um, I couldn't see it like out of my eye. I could just see it in oh. the mirror. For, for what? I, we told you this before. I never saw it. I see you five hours a week. Yeah, you got to be really close to to see it. Like yeah. it's it's. I mean, it was it was it was literally. I don't even know what else to describe it as as like the size of a booger. Like I don't have a, an object on my desk that's as small as this thing was, but it was ugly and it needed to go. And it was like a low grade cancer scare, maybe, or just was cosmetic. No, oh, okay. no, because there were eyelashes growing through it, which oh, the right doctor said that. was a good sign as mm-hmm. far as that goes. I had that one removed from my side a few weeks ago that I that I showed you that was like four stitches. And uh, that one was a, scan- a a cancer scare for sure. Uh, when I but first it came... sent back that it was nothing, right? Negative. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. When I first met Jackie, she had a big mole, like right, I'm covering with Mike, like right here ish, like under her neck on like the top of her, mm. just under her throat. And it was a little unsightly. I felt like it dropped her a point. And it was like, all right, you know, we can, <laughs> we can be a thing, but. Get that fixed, right? <laughs> you know, and her. You ever feel tempted when you're like making out or whatever? Just to, <laughs> ah, just bite that thing off. Uh, I think I, I gotta say, Woody, that's one of the most alpha things you've ever seen. <laughs> we're working out okay, but yeah, <laughs> we're gonna yeah. we're gonna give that the the old uh, the, yeah the sniff, the sniff <laughs> right? We're gonna take care of that. Her parents, I think, were a little bit like, "What? He doesn't love you the way you are." And she, no, he was She's concerned like, about cancer. He pulled out his leather man. <laughs> it was like, I'm yeah, it was melanoma. He's sawing it off. With it was fifteen percent <laughs> cancer risk. That much is true. <laughs> the other eighty-five percent was cosmetic. Yeah, yeah, that's got to go. 